Today, we're looking at a piece of technology that was never particularly prevalent in the consumer household, but is nonetheless a remarkable piece of engineering. This is a capacitance electronic disc, RCA's attempt to bring full-color video recordings to the home environment. The CED's development is a fascinating, if tragic, tale of mismanagement and political infighting resulting in a system that took over 17 years to finally bring to the market. What would have been a truly revolutionary system in the 70s ended up being unable to compete with Laserdisc, VHS, and Betamax when it was finally released in 1981. Rival systems quickly outcompeted the CED system, ultimately resulting in the demise of RCA before the system itself finally faded into obscurity. A CED is a large disc resembling a phonograph record, and in many ways it operates fairly similarly. Each side of the disc holds 60 minutes of full color motion picture plus audio, encoded in a completely analog format. This data is visible by eye as a rainbow sheen across the surface of the disc. This rainbow coloring is a diffraction pattern caused by a spiral groove with nanoscale undulations across the surface of the entire disc. Under an optical microscope, there's really not much to see. The groove is only 500 to 600 nanometers wide, and each undulation is at most 500 nanometers deep. An ordinary optical microscope simply cannot resolve these tiny features. Moving to the scanning electron microscope, we can begin to see the structure a little bit better. The large groove is used to guide a diamond stylus around the disc, very similar to a record player. Inside the groove, we can see small dimples and valleys. But while a record player rides the peaks and valleys, translating the motion of the stylus into audio, the CED is designed a little differently. Unfortunately, the scale of these features are so small that even the scanning electron microscope has difficulty recording them in high enough detail. Instead, let's move to the most precise device in our arsenal, the atomic force microscope. By probing the surface with a nanoscale stylus of our own, we can begin to see the real engineering beauty of the CED. The faint ripples and undulations that we saw under the scanning electron are now very apparent. The AFM allows us to reconstruct the surface in a three-dimensional model, which makes the pattern of data encoding much more obvious. The stylus of a CED is designed to be too large to fit inside any individual depression instead riding smoothly across the average height of the groove. The disc itself is conductive using a carbon-filled PVC material, and the stylus contains a small electrode at the tip. This means the electrode is separated from the conductive disc by a small height, and this forms a capacitive circuit. As the stylus runs along the groove, the undulations change the distance from the disc to the electrode, and this in turn changes the capacitance. The stylus is, in effect, measuring the distance to the base of the groove in a continuously variable analog manner. These minor changes are processed to extract an FM signal containing the audio and video data. Thus, 60 minutes of color footage and audio are encoded in the nanoscale height differences of these small pits. Peak to valley, the grooves are no more than 500 nanometers in height, and the variation between individual pits are mere nanometers. To think that this was achieved using glorified phonograph technology is honestly truly remarkable. 
you can see what appears to be a gouge along the side of this particular groove, probably due to tracking error or vibrations, causing the stylus to dig into the surface. Indeed, this is one of the main problems with CED. It was very susceptible to dust or other contaminants ruining this very fine surface, which would directly translate into issues or glitches with the audio or video. If we move to the edge of the disc, you can see that the groove smooths out into a plain track with no data. This is the landing zone for the stylus when the disc is first inserted into the machine. If you would like to learn more about the fascinating history and development of the CED, I would highly recommend checking out Technology Connection's five-part masterpiece on the RCA's Selectivision system. Link to the playlist is in the description below. If you enjoyed this look at the microscopic world, please consider subscribing or sharing the video with a friend. If you have suggestions for future subjects to investigate, let me know in the comments down below. As the CED was a bit before my time, please feel free to leave any corrections in the comments and I'll compile them into an addendum. And as always, thanks for watching.